What's poppin', what's poppin', and what is poppin' again, y'all? This your big homie, MC Ronski. Y'all know who it is, man. Um, once again, y'all know what I'm here to do. Dope recap. Winter is coming. Nope, winter is here. Thus the hat. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out, G Gray. And um, let me do this real quick just to support our local businesses. Hey, y'all. Come shop at Daddy Boutique. <laughs> 576 website is what? www.daddyboutique.com Once again, come shop clothing, adult toys, you get it all here. Daddy Boutique, guys. Okay, make sure y'all see that phone number. And that phone number is 262. Is that 999-899-2838? Y'all see that, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Once again, Batty Boutique, 5570 North 76th Street in Milwaukee. Support y'all black-owned businesses, especially when the diva's in charge. Y'all feel me? Website again, www.battyboutique.com. Go shop, guys. No chill, no filter TV. That's Michelle, the owner. And we're... Batty. Batty's. I do believe Boutique. Y'all make sure y'all go down there and check that out, man. Because as much as I be seeing on Facebook, y'all always talking about the I'm single and don't need no man. Y'all got a couple of plastic penises somewhere. For real, for real. So in any, ev in, in, in any event, you're welcome, Michelle. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to support them all. So, with that being said, man, let me just go ahead. Shout out, G. Gray. Another dope battle. Another dope event. Appreciate you, but... Um, the car was fire, but the performances was lackluster, for real, for real. I, I wasn't really impressed with a whole lot of stuff that happened, man, with a whole lot of battlers that got up there. Commending all of y'all, don't get it twisted, for getting up there, but I don't know. Maybe I was just expecting a little bit more. Um, the first battle we had, I do, yeah, we had Jay Savage versus... Jabba. Um, Jabba got ducked, and yeah, little dude, you got some explaining to do. But Jabba came way up here from Nashville, Tennessee, man, and, and he got ducked. Don't nobody got time for all that, man. Y'all really need to start getting yourselves together. Um, if you if you accept a battle, know that you got to be there. You know you got to be there. Um, it's not our responsibility to get you there, whatever the case. And then I saw the little post that was going on with the, you know, not worth my time. This man came here from Nashville. And, and you really ain't got it like that to say that. And if y'all notice, I ain't said his name on purpose. I'm not saying his name because he don't get that gratification. Um, if you duck, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know you ducked. Everybody know who you is. So it is what it is on that. So, <clears throat> with that being said, dude got dude got 30 by Java. You know what I'm saying? Java did, um, you know, try to slap me with an eight. Um, during his interview like well first off he won't really let it sing because he looked like Millie Vanilli if he cut off the dreads if he took off a hat with that fucking bald head he'd be all dead looking like I don't know Stone Cold Steve Austin with them wrestling bars getting cracked real quick use a real bitch ducking me suck a dick eat it fat don't ever get no pussy <laughs> Like, okay. fuck, I, I fucked up the shit I had for him, okay. but you know, like, okay. oh yeah, he looked like Danny Myers. Boom, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you saw what Doji said, but I mean, in any event, he said he had three rounds. Those was just a quick eight that he gave me. And it is what it is. But uh, between Java versus Jay Savage, Jay Savage took that battle like on a whim. So with that battle, I'm saying, you know, okay, yeah, with the choking, well, I don't even say the choke, but, you know, Jabba won because Jabba was more prepared, okay? Um, I commend both of the brothers for coming, you know what I'm saying? Jabba came here, I mean, uh, yeah, Jabba came here from Nashville, and Jay Savage came here from Chicago. So, both of them did their thing. I appreciate y'all doing what y'all did. I really don't want to judge that battle because it wasn't it wasn't, um, wasn't pre-planned. Um, but if I had to, I would have to give it to Java. But just letting y'all know, Jay Savage didn't come to battle, dude. He just took that battle because he was asked, okay? The battle after that, the next battle, J. Lopez versus Mandala. That, that you know, looking at the whole thing, Chris Kane versus GE included. 
I liked it. Um, I liked it that battle. That was the battle of the evening, versus um, which was Jay Lopez versus Mandala. That was the that was the battle of the evening. I appreciated it. I liked it. Uh, Mandala came with them bars. J. Lopez just came like, you know, the hero that I know he is, you know what I'm saying? Um, it wasn't, it wasn't, I ain't gonna say it was one of those victories where, you know, you can just say, okay, man, dog killed him and that was it because Mandala did come and he did punch back. But um, J. Lopez came with just a little bit more and I liked it. That's it. I liked it. I, I like what J. Lopez had did. He took care of his business. You know what I'm saying? Very entertaining. And that was it. Lyris, 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 Lyrisologist, I do believe. Lyrisologist versus J. Million. Um, you know, that, that was kind of one of those where... I'm sorry, you know, I'm, I'm from the hood, so, you know, like, like my dude Mike G say, oh, I'm from, yeah, um, I'm from the hood, man, so, you know, have some type of convincing, you know what I'm saying, because when this happened... But these are the cats that you're cool with? Well, let me ask them some true shit. You take a bullet for your man? You know it, nigga. Well, there's a difference between saying it <laughs> and to actually do it. Matter of fact, come take his place now. And then you tried to kind of like come back, you lost a whole lot of punch with that. You know what I'm saying? Because you need to understand something. Bottom line is you still was in the hood. It was still hood niggas there. And for you to say, yeah, man, you come stand in front of him. Yeah, that's, he, he was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> and, and was hoping that you was going to do something for real. But we know that, you know, this is this was a battle event. Everything was all in sport and in fun and in, in good humor and, and entertainment. You know what I'm saying? But, um, L Lyricologist versus... J Million, I just, overall, I just think, you know, I, what do you say, man? No chill, no filter TV, man. They both sucked to me. Um, but if I had to give it to somebody, man, I, I, I guess I would just toss it up because it was kind of like, you know, the best of who had more to say, maybe, I want to say. Okay, so, but I know Maya was talking about, you know, lyric, lyric, lyricologist, lyricologist one. So, um, if that's what you want to say, then that's what happened. It doesn't really matter to me. Jay Million probably should have came with a little bit more. Jay Savage versus D Nice. I liked that battle. Um, Jay, Fa Jay Savage got all the way off. D Nice, you came the way D Nice usually come, but you didn't come Larry Bull D Nice. You just kind of, you know, you came through and, you know, you rapped and, you know, that was that. Um, I just kind of like saw pretty much the pre scripted D Nice. I would like to see something else every now and again, man. So, and, and stop like rapping for the crowd like you're rapping for a response. Y'all got to excuse me. My shoulder is just really, really kicking my butt. And if it wasn't, I wouldn't even say nothing. But if I'm squirming a little bit, that's why I'm in excruciating pain. Um, but yeah, D Nice, just, you know, kind of like spice it up a little bit, brother. Do a little, do a little, you know, do a little something, something with that, man. You know, I mean, you got, you got people out here, you know, they, they always changing up. And, and if that don't work, you know, do what Mandala did, man, and paint your face. I don't know. But, you know, it's just a few things that you got to do, man, to change that just to keep us pretty much interested in, in what it is that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, with that being said, man, I got, um, I got Jay Savage taking that. Uh, Mr. NBA versus <laughs> Scotty Lyrical. Mr. NBA versus Scotty Lyrical, man. Um, okay. Scotty, you lost, okay? And not only was you choking, man, you just, every now and again, you may say something that, that would warrant uh ooh or uh yeah that was okay but you just you wasn't fire fam you just you wasn't fire keeping it 100 you wasn't fire um you 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 
I, I've seen you. I've seen you at your best. You know what I'm saying, and I know you can do better than what you did at you know the Winners Coming event, um, UBL Battle League. So, with that being said, man, Mr. NBA of course took that one, um, and, and once again, it's just the 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 lack of interest between y'all, man. Y'all just ain't really have no interest in the event. It's just so, you know what I'm saying? People came there, paid good money, man, to get in there to see a battle. Um, and to have like a disappointing performance like that, that that kind of that kind of reflects on the, the league owner and the battle league, you know, um, as a whole. So people need to kind of keep that, you know, in the back of their mind when they writing for these battles or when they even accepting them, period. Um, but yeah, like I said, it Mr. NBA won that man. J Major versus oh man, what was dude's name? You know what? I'm gonna get it one second because I don't want to be disrespectful here. That was J Major versus King Based. Um, of course J Major won, but damn J Major, yeah. See, I, I knew you could do that. Loyalty didn't think you could do that, but I knew you could do that. Keep that same energy every time you come to battle, man. Keep rapping like that, fam. That that was fire. That was fire. I liked it. And I know you got that swag that you can you can continue to do that, man. Don't with the and, and yeah, you did a little stumbling a little bit, man, but you definitely caught that back. Um King Base, I mean you was rapping, fam, but, you know, I guess you forgot your lines or whatever the case was, man. So, yeah, you got ate up. Um, J Major definitely took care of his business, man. And, and J Major, you on the uprise right now, man. Try to try to keep that energy, man. Try to try to keep that same motivation. Try to keep that fire, for real. And that's my, that's my advice to you. So, that was uh, my prediction vlog with... Um, between King Bass and J Major. Battle of the Giants, by the way. You know what I'm saying? They was towering over the whole doggone crowd. All the way up here, you know what I'm saying? I got to hold the camera up. These dudes like King Kong versus Godzilla up in that mug. But, I don't know. King Bass just didn't, didn't really come with no fire. Um, last but not least, man. Lil Cuz. I commend you. I commend you on that battle, man. That was one of the best Chris Kings I've ever seen. Um, got just, it, it kind of fell off a little bit at the end, but bottom line, the sustenance was there. You took care of your business, man. GE, you obviously started writing like, I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday. So you forgot everything that you was talking about. You know what I'm saying? You forgot your lines. You forgot your words. You forgot your raps. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that, fam. That's, that's just something that you don't want to do. But yeah, man, you know, when you battling somebody, especially the way y'all was trolling each other, I was thinking that it was going to be, um, I thought it was going to be a little bit more electrifying than that on both ends. But either way it go, Chris Kane outbars you. He outpunched you. He outclassed you. Um... I mean, and you my dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm a big fan, you know what I'm saying? And, and of course, I'm a big fan of Chris Kane also, but I just thought that it would be a better, um, I thought it would be a better competition. I thought it would be more bars. I, man, especially off your last one, um, you know, we all expecting a whole lot of, out of you right now, GE. So, you know, you got to keep, you got to keep that in mind. So, just a real quick synopsis of what I just did. And if you haven't already, make sure if, if you watching this vlog, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, share, do all that stuff below. You know what I'm saying? And um, show your support for the for the channel and the movement. You know what I'm saying? Because we moving fast. Once again, shout out to my man UBL, my man uh, G Gray. He was in the house. You know what I'm saying? His event. And he said he worked and he threw the through the event. So I commend that man double time. So just a quick just a quick uh run through. Uh first battle I got Jabba, second I got Jay Lopez, Lyrosologist versus J Million. Eh. Lyrosologist. Um Jay Savage, Jay Savage versus D Nice. I got Jay Savage winning that. Mr. NBA uh versus Scotty Lyrical, Mr. NBA winning that. J Major versus King Bay. J Major got at you and he took care of his business on that. Chris Kane versus G E Chris Kane. 
all the way, hands down, not debatable, but I kind of wish that, you know, it was really, really all based on all bars, you know what I'm saying, not chokes, and trust me, um, GE, I think if you, if you would have, if you would have memorized everything, it wouldn't have choked, I don't think it would have mattered because you just you, you you was fire. Don't get it twisted. You was fire, but you still wasn't you wasn't coming like I like like I expected you to. So once again, shout out my man G Gray. This has been a No Chill No Filter TV recap. Uh, once again, support y'all local businesses, man. Support y'all battle league owners, battle league. Support y'all local battle battlers, rappers. You know what I'm saying? Invest in them people because they out here doing the best that they can to put the city on. I'm seeing what y'all doing. If anything that y'all need from me, Mr. No Chill No Filter TV. Feel free to hit me, inbox me, comment, just but make sure you subscribe, like, and share, okay? Do whatever it is that you got to do. Holler at me, man. I'll holler back, you feel me? Once again, man, winner's coming. Uh, UBL, I was just going to say Jack City. Speaking of which, shout out my man Banks. He had a, he had an event also. I was supposed to have been there. Hopefully, PDX Views um, did his thing on that one also. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping my man got off. You know, I didn't hear from you, so, you know what I'm saying, whenever you get a chance, hit my line. So, yeah, um, shout out my man Banks. He did his thing up in Madison, so I'm pretty sure that went off without a hitch. Everything was all good. I got to see STP. I, I got to see that battle, for real. I, I need for some, and I ain't seen nobody say nothing about it either, so I'm wondering if, if it even happened at all. But in any event, this is your big homie. I already kept y'all too long, way longer than I wanted to keep y'all, but this is your big homie, MC Ron Ski, signing off. Once again, support your black businesses and make sure you like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel and, you know, stay entertained. It's your big homie, MC Ron Ski. No chill, no filter TV. And we out. No chill, no filter. <laughs>